Good morning guys, welcome to Ride VIP The Ride Your Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I would like to share with you guys my earnings for Saturday and of course right now it is Sunday morning. So here we go. I was working 12 hours and it did kick me off the app. Um, so yeah, don't pay attention to this two hours and 31 minutes or whatever. Um, I did complete the quest. This is why the amount is so much greater. See this nine, nine hours, 40 minutes, and then you see two hours and 30 right there. So that really shows that I did work 12 hours. So as you see that there is a $477 that I need to cash out. Um, that is how much I made in the last 12 hours. Now my quest itself was $190. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not looking at $500. Just because I was kind of thinking, look, it's a Saturday. Making a $300 on a Saturday it should be like a given, okay? Um, after all, coming back to Lyft, which was like my fourth week that I just finished. I can't believe, like, wow, uh, March has just ended. Uh, literally, like, I worked April the 1st, which was, like, Saturday. But I was noticing that I was, like, making usually minimum $300 a day, even, like, on a normal day. So I'm not really sure what has happened because apparently that is not the case, at least to this Saturday. Um, with that being said, I did a total of 25 rides, in case you guys are wondering, uh, for this whole shift. And I completed both parts of the quest um, on Saturday shift, because I just needed like three more to complete the first part. Uh, but all in all, I looked, I just needed like 24 rides instead I did 25 which leaves me with another day to work um, which is Sunday so I'm headed home right now it's gonna take me one hour to get home and um, I'm gonna take a bath and uh, get some sleep get refreshed and come back for Sunday and work again and I'm hoping to make an additional $300 of course there's gonna be like no quests involved um, which will mean that I'm going to be very close to making $1,900 for this week. Um, probably will, will be um, like a 64 hour week, maybe 65 hour week, because you could kind of see that it's 52 hours and 39 minutes. Um, back to what I was saying about Saturday I was hoping to make at least like $300 but like realistically I'm thinking like look Saturday I would be a little bit more busy and, and you could clearly see doing 25 rides is not no small task I was pretty much doing okay throughout the whole night like I stayed pretty busy um, I cannot like remember of uh, much downtime oh actually heck yeah uh, yeah, I did run into some customers that uh, decided to go through a, a drive through So that's where my time got e eaten up. So yeah, I guess I would have made $300 if it wasn't for that. But still, I was hoping to make slightly above 300 on the Saturday just because that's a Saturday. And if you're working with Lyft, a lot of times, you know, they'll have like all these like ride streaks and stuff. But there was only two ride streaks. Um, so let's take a look at some of them. The right streaks was kind of weak. Um, mainly, as you can see, there's like a lot of bonuses. And the bonuses is basically the surge areas. And of course, I got some tips, but not a lot of tips. So I'm not even saying much when it goes to that. We oh, yeah, I got $9 in cash tips as well. So you see right bonuses. Yeah, so So 
so wait a minute, that's Friday. I don't need to be looking at Friday. So where's the... Right here, the, uh, that's a right challenge, so that was a quest. Street bonus, $9, you see? And I think I just got one of them. There was another one, I think, at, at 5 o'clock. And I just started working a lot later today, so I only got that one uh, bonus. But either way, I'm not going to complain. So let's see what I made uh, today per hour. 477. 477 divided by 12. So $39 an hour, almost 40, which is not bad. And speaking of fuel, I got a full tank of fuel uh, before starting my shift. And I still have slightly less than a quarter remaining. Just so you know uh, on that situation. And I, I have uh, done a tune on my car, so my cars are like a little bit faster now. So it's not as fuel efficient. However, my BMW is lying to me and it's telling me that it's 22.8 miles per gallon. When my uh, tuner um, tells me it's 19.2 because I have a external monitor for my tune. So yeah, the BMW is not that fuel efficient. But with that being said, it's not bad that I made as much as I did and I still basically am able to drive like like let me see uh, what the car is gonna tell me how many miles I got left so it tells me I have 85 miles left till, till empty which is still a lot better than a lot of these electrics out there um, so I'm not I'm not worried about that so let's get back to the total amount and just see how much am I making with quests included for the whole week uh, and basically, just looking at the six days, so 1,583, 1,583 divided by 52 hours. So let's make it 53 hours. 29.86. So because I did a round off, I could round this off too to $30 an hour. So basically, I'm making $30 an hour working for Lyft. Um, Oh yeah, hello to my person that always leaves me a comment saying, stop saying you're working for Lyft, you're working for, you're not working, you're a contractor. Like, wow, like, uh, it's so funny to me um, how precise some people are with their words. Well, I'm not one of those, I'm never precise, I make a lot of mistakes. But anyways, with that being said, Working for Lyft at $30 an hour is a lot better than I was doing with Uber. With Uber, when I was doing, you know, calculation like overall, it was like $19 an hour in a lot of cases, close to 20 At least before I left them. Um, and it gradually went down because it started out at like $30 an hour and it went in like at $25 and then at 20 and it uh, remained anywhere from like 18.50 to like $22 an hour, depending on which day or if it's for the whole week. So I already know guys that Lyft will do something similar and this is why it's important to kind of know how much am I making per hour? Is it going down? Is it staying relatively the same? Well, one thing for sure, I do not have um, that many, um, like, like uh, right streaks or whatever. So it's and plus that look, look, this is for Sunday. You see, there's a right streak that's gonna happen at 8:45 for six dollars. But you know when they sucked me in like um, four weeks ago, I was getting like back to back at $21 an hour streaks until it started going down. So as you can see, that kind of has disappeared. So now there is a new challenge, which is, which is locked. I believe I, I actually made the selection already. So it's gonna be $145 for the next um, 
four days that started Monday through Thursday. Definitely gonna participate uh, in that. Um, but anyways, I think I said all I'm gonna say for now. Um, I do appreciate you guys for watching my videos. Thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, consider subscribing and uh, consider hitting that like button. I'm just doing my best to share my experience with you guys. And I'm not any special than any of you all. I just choose, I just choose to share my earnings and my thoughts on this whole thing, you know. So basically my two cents. And I welcome your opinions uh, in the comment section. I am trying to get to you guys, um, to your comments and questions uh, as much as I can, but because I've been working as much as I have, um, it's been very challenging to answer everybody's comments or questions. So please do not hold it against me if you see your comment or question has not been answered. Uh, please continue asking them and I will get to uh, the comments. It's just, it's really hard to keep up, especially with how many hours I'm, you know, working. And usually I'm hustling like crazy. Um, plus I'm spending money like crazy too, so I need to work even more. Because I bought a lot of cool stuff for the Range Rover. <clears throat> and uh, um, here's my plans <clears throat> when it comes to working. I did, I did want to mention this as well. Hold on a second right here with like a dry throat right now so I have to drink something but anyways this is beginning of April I did some calculations and I'm like okay I'm gonna have to really 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 hustle and work the whole entire April um, because of some of the purchases that I made and stuff like that so some stuff that I was planning to do like build my own shop I'm just pushing it off a little bit uh, I do have the funds for at least putting up the walls and the roof. Um, as far as other stuff, I'm still going to have to work on it. But um, there's other projects that are also staring me in the eyes. And that has to do with my home. Some honeydew, pro honeydew projects. And uh, one of them is um, I got to basically do an addition uh, to our home. So that might be coming up uh, sooner than my garage however I'm gonna try not using the funds uh, when it comes to uh, you know for building my my uh, my garage well, more like shop and instead I'm going to just work very hard in April just get enough money to where I could you know buy all the construction uh, stuff all the materials and probably start building around May but here's what I've noticed guys uh, this is a problem with every anybody like anyone anyone that does construction or any kind of projects and when you put a time on something it's good to have time right but you're never going to really meet that deadline or the time frame that you're trying to do something because you just don't know what's gonna happen you don't know what kind of challenges uh, that you're gonna be presented with your life and we always have those challenges so I'm no different I mean I got a wife and I got three kids I got cars and some of those cars they need service and you know there's time delays and stuff like that when it comes to that as well some stuff just needs to get pushed out out of the way especially when it's not as serious um, therefore I set set a goal I sort of like know like where when it's gonna be but I'm okay with pushing things back a little bit if, it, if it's necessary. Um, because if I would not be okay with it, then, you know, that would be very challenging because if you don't have the funds, it's like, why are you gonna do, like give up or something? Um, it's just sometimes things will work in your favor, sometimes they will not. So instead of just giving up, I'm just gonna work harder and I'm gonna achieve, achieve those type of things. But with all that being said, guys, you know, I'm just like, you just use the normal funds uh, from doing Uber and Lyft to take care of all of my life's um, situations. Um, 
and funding everything through Uber and Lyft uh, at this point. Because obviously, obviously, I put in so much work here, so much time doing this work, that I'm not left with any other time to do any of my other uh, businesses because you could only be in one place at one time. And the reason that I'm putting so much time into Uber and Lyft, and right now it's Lyft, Uber's kinda sitting on the bench right now, um, it's because this income I could definitely depend on, I could see exactly what I'm gonna make, I could pretty much make a prediction and then be pretty close to what the income's gonna be like, as long as I put the time in, I know the outcome is gonna be there. Um, and when it comes to my businesses, they're so small right now that if I put in the same amount of effort that I am putting in into Lyft and Uber, the income is gonna be relatively the same, unfortunately. But once I build my garage and I get some of these other things uh, taken care of, hopefully I'll start another business, which is gonna be, um, a dealer wholesaler I'm gonna get dealer wholesaler license and with that I'm gonna be flipping some cars but at this point I have not flipped any cars well I flipped some cars like in the past but not like within like five years I haven't flipped any cars all I've been doing is just buying up cars therefore I have like 34 cars because I've been planning for me to just have all the cars Oh, that's all the inventory and stuff build my shop and then I could shift gears into that while at the same time I'm trying to get my real estate license so there's a lot of things at play and plus with family there's a lot of delays that's gonna naturally happen so if you're someone that's not married right now and you're doing Lyft or Uber uh, or anything else for that matter you know my head goes out to you guys uh, you can definitely do it. You could achieve so much, so much more than I'm achieving because think about it. Still a lot of like literally what I just like mentioned, all the money that I'm making, it's coming from Lyft and Uber right now. That, that's majority of my income. So I'm going to have to spend it on my family and all of these other expenses first. And then whatever's left over, I'm basically using it for building my business and stuff like that. Um, so if you don't have a family to take care of and you're just over there just making money, you know, please take that opportunity to make a lot of money because you might not have the same opportunity uh, moving forward because right now you have a lot of time in your hands uh, and there's not, not a lot of investments uh, that are happening. So that's my guest light that just went off. Um, and I'm actually turning into a gas station right now. So I could just go ahead and get a full tank of fuel. But that's just like my advice. Um, I mean, heck, when I was 18 years old, I remember I was like told, oh, you're too young for this or for that. Like, but man, time flies. I'm almost 42 now and I, I don't know like where, where did the time go? Um, so take the opportunity to hustle now make as much money as you can and then apply it to whatever business you're trying to build before you you start a family but i'm not saying that don't start a family just because you need to build a business because nothing in life will line up exactly how you want it like things just need to happen and uh and the way to happen that's how it's going to be nothing in life is ever going to be perfect just so you know that's why you sometimes you just got to do it you just can't wait for for the perfect opportunity you know if it's almost if it's almost perfect or i don't know 60 percent there then you know give it a shot you know whatever in whatever it is that you're trying to do um but anyways thank you so much guys take care of yourself and see you in my next video bye bye